We didn't quite make it to Diamond City, and that was the original plan. Keep dying here. We're getting close, though. We just need to head south. Try going across the water here. Oh, well, I'm going north. Well, oh, that's that other quest marker. This is the one I want. Right? Yeah. I still got radiation poison. go to oh I don't get your stuff am I oh, 
can't find him. Darn it. If he was running like that. And I guess he really disappeared. Alright. We won't get his stuff. Well, the other guy's the one that disappeared on me. <clears throat> His body's not even left. No sign of him now. Well, I'm actively looking for you. Oh, it's dead. Okay. These didn't seem to work, did they? I hear it. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Get away from him. I don't know where he is, but I can get away from him. city right here. Wow, that's a dangerous spot to have a city. signs. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. 
Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gate. Hacking this is beyond me. Yeah. The mini game's the same regardless. Useless. You say traitors welcome and then no use. Excuse me. You. You want into Diamond City, right? No, not really. <laughs> I came all this way. No. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. Well, that was Make easy. Personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> Sounds good. Let's go. Great day, Mayor McDonough. One second, sir. How would you know who this guy is? I where where Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. That a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. McDonough? Excuse me, but I'm very busy right now. Yeah, I see that. Two ninety nine for a book, for a magazine. Read all about it. Are sins replacing people? Is your neighbor really human? Read all about it. Neighbor puts on quite a show, huh? Quite a show. Hate it when they bring up the Institute. Ain't like folks aren't already scared of them. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. Yeah, I saw, saw what you're talking about. What's the Institute? Ever heard of the Boogeyman? Shadowy monster that takes people in the night? Well, that's the Institute. But they're just a fact of life around here. Someone gets taken by the Institute or gets killed by a raider. Which is worse. At least inside these walls, you don't have to worry about the raider. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel? Looking for someone who's gone missing. Gone missing? Who is it? Friend? Relative? My son was kidnapped. His name is Sean. Your boy's gone missing? That's terrible. I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, they've turned a blind eye as well. Is 
It's hopeless. You're not alone. A lot of people in this city have lost loved ones. The weight of all those missing have broken their spirits. Don't let that happen to you. Piper, you're back! Oops, don't do that. <laughs> Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of this her and her perfect hair. I don't know how much money I have. But I Aswata, the game changer! You there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. Let's see what you have. Feel that head. Hmm? So, ah. Uh, I don't have very much on me. Yeah, we'll come back later when I got a little more money. I could sell some stuff. I don't know why I went in there. Time for a pop quiz, everyone. Ah. Nope. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. My school. I don't want a pop quiz. I didn't study. my brother I swear I'm not a simp don't shoot for God's sakes we're family put the gun down now he's a simp he'll kill us all Kyle no okay shows over there are no sins in Diamond he City you hear me just you folks and your damn paranoia hi do you think that guy was a sin? What the hell just happened? What happened? I'm I'm not a sin thing. I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I uh, officer. I need you to step away, Scout. I need him. I don't know the voice in this game, the acting, the oh, the dialogue's just kind of bleh. Hey, Piper. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside. Magazine in the school? Home. Okay. You do that? Go back and see if we can find it. I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life?
honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are Might they? Might leave and come back. Okay, cool. Well, I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming. Probably, probably to about 7.30 or so. My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? <laughs> Get revenge. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Thanks, Piper. I'll talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. I think she can lock pick, but I'm gonna keep dog meat for the time being. Said, can't believe you There's that. Come a book in the school, so we'll see if we can find the, the school the again. Theater district that's for Raiders only. A combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Hey, you that trader up from Quincy? You selling ointment? They got me this itch. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want to history. Word is something bad went down at the old museum of witchcraft. They're safe now. Anyone can go there. I think it's in the first floor. Alright. We gotta find the school again. I just kinda ran into it by by accident before. Close-up map.
Ха. Near the baseball shop, okay. Walk around till we see that. There it is. Probably nothing. Some guy came into town, said he picked up a weird distress call in the Cambridge ruins. Do you know that radiation is why Brahmin have two heads? It's true. Ah, it's he said first floor. Sorry, you're in the wrong place. This is a school, not a store. I need to talk to you about this writing assignment, Mr. Wallace. It's great, isn't it? The thing's not a stray, is it? Super mean a joke a second head, and they start arguing with each other. You were supposed to write a report identifying the different animals of the Commonwealth. There's not one mention of Brahma, rat stags, or even Mirelarks in here. Oh, a Mirelark. That would be a great villain for the next chapter. Aha! Excellent. Super Munit Joe versus the Fish King. Well, I suppose part of teaching is about encouraging creativity. All right, we got the book. The Institute? Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? The Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard it from my cousin. No, it's not my first playthrough. I uh, last time I played it was when it first came out, so it's been gosh, what year did this come out? <laughs> it's been a few years. The bills. Huh. Forget the bills. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Sorry. I'll come back later. No, that's not what I mean. We're not just closed for the day. We're closed permanently. The detective's gone missing. Wow, this game came out in 2015. I just looked it up. That that has been a while. Jeez. <laughs> Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Oh, you've played pretty recently then. I'm a 
Ireland City surplus. Open 24 hours. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City surplus is open 24 hours a day. Sure. Let's take a look. Oh, goody. Thirty-four. Well, every conceivable good you can ever need is right here. If we don't have it, it's inconceivable. <laughs> I'll take a look. Sure. The highest quality available. Let's see here. I want to see what I got I can sell. Yeah, it's just nothing's worth a whole bunch, is it? I get platinum trophy some some trophies are a pain to get there are trophies in this game oh you mean like achievements yeah I'll probably ought to buy a couple of those for sure Just sell enough stuff to get this, I guess. Oh, I should not have sold that duct tape. Ah, cancel it. Because that's necessary. Alright. We'll come back later. I do remember duct tape was kind of key in some of the things. Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Nice dog. Okay. go for next quest find him oh wow you're tall Okay, so he's up over this way. All right. I figure I have to get out of this town. Always get turned around in here. You look a little roughed up. 
that. Let's talk to Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgery Center. No, well, maybe not. There we go. We're heading the right direction at least. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I didn't last very long. Okay, I'm going to go back and get some Wow, what do I have that's a better weapon that's... I well, guess we could go shotgun way. I was having some luck with that earlier. Oh, no, no noise.
Nancy Swan. That worries me. Am I near Swan? Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm not ready to take you on. Well, I remember that made me jump the first time I walked up on him. And just jump down. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't no. got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. something.
Hey, <laughs> Impact, dog. Neat. Good luck. Did not last very long. I'm oh telling boy. you, Do joining thing Skinny again. Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this thing. Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Strong head. Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever I'll made. make this quick.
Whoa. He's here for the detective. I him. Ah! Well, he went out of reality. Darn it. I hope he didn't have the gun I wanted. Upstairs. I don't think so. Yeah, I need to get a more normal distance weapon. Wow, there are a lot of them down here.
Uh oh, dog be stuck in the stairs. Oh shoot. Well that fixed him. Not the last of them, we're still in combat mode. bodies now. Ah, I was wondering when I was going to be, get to my limit. Got it. Alright, first try. No way I could pick this. Yeah, we'll purchase this. Oh, fancy terminated.
Okay, talk about a cookie cutter message. It says, we look forward to, or we enjoy working with you, or look forward to more years with you. It's like, nah, well, you just fired me. <laughs> have the ammo for the next shot, I guess. Not good at range. Oh shoot, I thought I died. Uh, <laughs> ah, get him. I need to heal something fierce. <laughs> okay, thanks for uh, stopping by, B2. Thanks for the help. That while wow, sticking everything we got. had any uh, stim packs on you.
Uh oh. Okay. God damn it! I hate it when they open the door. Why is that thing so loud? Who? Time to dance. Uh, I'm gonna die. He got me stuck. Got a nice pair of... Yeah. Stem pack in sight. It could be a first aid kit near the entrance of the vault. I search all these guys like I did. Yeah. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time. 
time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. I mean... this. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite. to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. He's still talking. I just killed the guy he's talking to, and he knows I'm here. Anything. And I'm out of. <laughs> oh, I can think of throw a grenade.
white. Anyone left? Did you run up here? Okay. This is, uh, this is very difficult here. It threw all your bodies off. Uh, of course it did. It made it do well. Take the apples. Loosen up. I got the fidgets. Darn, wish we were in our first aid kit. I'm not doing too good on health. Something to eat. The hell? I know I keep hearing you too, but I sure don't see you. Nothing over here. Must be losing my mind. Oh no, did this just lead back to this control room? With the... No. Okay, we haven't been here yet. Finally into the vault. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you've got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black... 
black book of his. Lousy, cheating, card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I, I, I gotta smooth this over fast. Rumble. Didn't see anything. There's no dog and guy over here. Go smooth it over. Ah, shoot. Alright. Oh, of course I'm out of ammo. Pick the worst time to run out. The boss says hello. Wow, he's stuck. Taking the numbers not gonna work. Door. Ooh, bobblehead. Bingo. Speech definitely need that. is, why does he come all this way, risk life and limb, an old private eye? My son, Sean, was missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. An empty vault. Perfect hideout.
This door is on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Shells. Someone's got a beat on us. Hell yeah. Gotta beat him Lousy again. Oh, okay. Cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... No way I could pick this. I, I I gotta smooth this over fast. Wait, the hell? Fidgets. I didn't kill him. This door open. Got it. Pass. That's that's uh, kind of appropriate for channel name, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> my knight in shining armor. Nice. Question is, why does he risk life and limb for an old pride? I'm tracking a murderer. The bastard who shot my wife took my son. I don't even have a clue who he is or, or where he's gone. So you need a little angel of vengeance, huh? Well, I don't usually go after blood money, but I... Guess I can make an exception. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. Anyway. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Until they found this place. Wait, wait, all hard hey! out, huh? well, I don't know how else we would do this. Out of bullets. Hey, fire support. Come on. See 
if I can get back up to that fountain. Can't pick this. Alright, we're gonna pick this up in the next episode. I gotta go. So I'll see you, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. And go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you wanna see some more. Have a great day.